Hey everybody, welcome back to the internet. I'll be your host. I'll be your host, uh, Ravnica McGee. And I'm gonna, oh dang, it's one out of eight. There's no justice in the world, people. There's no justice in the world. So I'm gonna boot up old MTG Arena and draft there. No, just kidding. I mean, I might. I, I'm tempted to. I'm tempted to draft on MTG Arena. Apparently, it's best of seven. Like, you play five rounds. Or you play seven rounds until you either get five wins or uh, two losses, <clears throat> which is really not bad. I don't know, man. I watched Ben Stark draft on Arena, and it wasn't terrible. I don't know what to say. I didn't hate it. I played some of the tutorial games that uh, that they make you play in order to, like, open up the other modes and uh i didn't hate that either it's weird like i, I like you guys and i don't know if you guys remember when uh arena was first announced and i was playing in the beta like the i didn't like it that much i was uh, not a huge proponent of of the of the the client and i definitely had issues with it and those were just instinctual like i opened it up i played it and it didn't feel right right it didn't like it was just on the fly I was like, mm, don't like this, don't like that, don't like this. But this time I opened it up instinctually and it just felt better. It felt more fluid. It didn't feel like I was able to make as many mistakes. Like before I felt like there were mistakes where I would like click through my turn or I didn't know how to set this or I didn't know how to do that. And um, <clears throat> it didn't feel like that was the case anymore. So I really dislike the drafts against AI. Yeah, but I mean like, I don't know, get over it. Like... I understand that. Like, I understand there's definitely a strategy involved in, like, sending signals and all, and all that. But, like, pretty much every other digital card game, Hearthstone, Elder Scrolls Legends, um, uh, I know there's other ones I can think of, um, you draft against AI. You just get a number of, of picks and then you pick one. Like, it doesn't, it's just different. It's not, <clears throat> it's not, I don't think it's better or worse. Like, I just think it's different. And that's fine. So, like, I really don't think, like, I mean, it's just a change, and, like, I don't think it's inherently bad. I also don't think it's inherently good. I just think it is what it is, and I think that's, it's it's a necessity. Like, it's just what you need. And if it allows people, it's a situation where, like, if it allows you to draft, I can, you know, sit <clears throat> on my bed at 2 a.m., you know, presumably if uh, if Arena goes to mobile. I don't think it is now. I don't think you can play it on, like, your iPad, but if it's, if it's on mobile, like, I can just lay on my bed at 2 in the morning, draft the cards, it take as much time as I want. And then just play the matches the next day, you know, whereas, like, I can't necessarily, or I can, like, do two packs and be like, I'll just finish this draft up tomorrow morning and, and draft the rest of the packs. Like, it's just, it's the, the level of convenience that you get out of that is, is significantly higher than any sort of, like, perceived strategy you may be losing from not drafting against human beings. I think it's fine. I also don't like to, like, complain about, A, things like that, and B, change in general. <clears throat> oh, camaraderie. To the surprise of everyone. I feel like I open this card way too frequently. This pack is also not that exciting. There's a lot of white cards. Inspiring Unicorn, Conclave Guild Mage, Healer's Hawk, Sky Knight Legionnaire. I don't think I want to commit to a, a guild here if I don't have to. Whisper Agent also pretty good. Can fit in blue or black. My only concern is that I've got a fair amount of money invested in MTGO and I'm not a fan of having to rebuy my... Yeah, well, 100% that. Of course I can echo that. That is also my concern. Like, I have no desire to spend any money on there because I have a sizable Magic Online collection, as you can imagine. Um, sub notes aren't coming up? I didn't even see any. Josh with the resub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. And Sarcastatron. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Let me actually make sure that that's... Let me, let me, let me highlight a card first. Uh, I did hear about the SCG guy getting fired. <clears throat> uh, eventless. Nope, that's not it. Anyway, I'm gonna do the thing. Probably just taking unicorn here. I want to take whisper agent. I don't want to be green based or white based. I want to be a different thing. I want to be a different thing. I think getting past the hatchery spider is also a pretty good. Uh, pretty good pick here. Um, hold on. Twitch alerts. There we go. All right, let's refresh it. See if that works. <clears throat> Ooh, all right. I'm taking the Saturday Spider. Um, uh, shouldn't these players speak up earlier? Uh, I don't know. I can't speak to that. 
I also don't want to really discuss it in chat. There's nothing that really needs to be said. We don't have any. Uh, we don't have any. Um, like, I'm not in a position to defend the guy. And I'm also not in a position to talk shit about the guy. Like, it's just we don't know anything, and we have no facts. And I'd rather not um, get involved in rampant speculation. Probably just Gorgon here. Um, it looks like we can be we can be Simic. That's good. We could be Golgari. It's probably Pitiless Gorgon here. I can't imagine taking a Lede Ledev champion here if we're hatchery spidering. <clears throat> I don't want to be salty if I don't have to be. Oh, and a Swarm Guild Mage comes by. Hello, Swarm Guild Mage. How are you doing? That was an easy pick. There was nothing in that pack for us. Uh, Crawl Swarm is okay. Uh, my speculation about Ramp is that uh, it will be very, very rare. They do not make cards like Farseek anymore, unfortunately. Instead, you get like Thunderherd Migration, which only fits into a specific deck. They don't like making two mana Ramp anymore. And I was actually surprised when they made when they reprinted Land War Elves. So here's the thing. This guy's actually going up in value. Dowser of Lights because it's just a really big dude. Spaghetti Toucher, eight months of busting. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. I'm more asking how players should come forward if they know about a guy's bad. We can. Uh, the the problem is like one instance of a thing happening doesn't make a person bad. I don't think. Like people people make mistakes, and like if someone accidentally does something, but then they don't do it ever again. Like, okay, you know what? It's it was a mistake. I, I don't know if they... I, yeah, I also don't know... Like, I don't know anything about that, right? Like, I don't know if he apologized. I don't know if he felt remorse for it. I don't know if he felt regret for it. I don't know if he worked it out, right? I have no idea. So saying, like, people should come forward, but, like, like come forward where? Like, it's just a complicated situation, right? Like, I mean... All right, this deck's actually pretty good so far. I'm okay with all these picks. I'm mad you didn't... 12 months of subbing to this nonsense? What a waste of $60 on bad content. Great beard, though. Wow. Really appreciate it. I like keeping that meme alive. That's actually a solid meme. Um, that's our life value as in good card or... No, no. What? This is a common. There's no way this is a good value as a, as a card. Uh, no, it's a good common. It's, it's just a very big guy. Uh, I like Thought Erasure a lot, but I'm probably just going to take the Gorgon. There's no reason to be blue here. Oh, here's a bats. All right, actually, generous stray is great. I like generous stray a lot in this archetype because there's a lot of things like severed strands, where you want to sacrifice. This pack is actually pretty perfect for us, I think. I don't really love Golgari Raiders. I think they're so we played this card a lot, <coughs> trying to test it out, see if it's any good. Uh, I don't think it has been. I think it's actually too much to. Uh... It's too much for too little, right? Anyway, what I was saying about the situation is that like <clears throat> all the people that knew about things, like, they probably didn't know about multiple things. I don't know, maybe they did. I have no idea. See, that's the thing. I don't know. So I don't want to speculate on it. I also don't want to, like... Also, I don't think... I think you underestimate how hard it is for someone to come forward about things like that. Like, it's not easy to do. Like, I don't ever... Don't ever be the person that puts yourself in the situation where you're, you're blaming the victim for not doing a thing sooner. Like, don't... Just don't be that guy. Uh, Sacred Founder, I don't think it's worth anything. Happy to see you thought that song was gas yesterday. Oh, yeah, that song was great, dude. I'm a big Vaporware fan. Vaporwave, rather. Vaporware is, uh, I always get Vaporware and Vaporwave confused because they sound very, very similar. Obviously, one letter difference. But yeah, Vaporwave is great. A dollar. <clears throat> Yeah, the Death Touchers and the Strays are the glues. I agree with you. Glowspore Shaman. I like, see, I really like Artful Takedown here. But God, am I greedy. I also like Watcher in the Mist. Yeah, the good thing is that it's not my job to speculate, right? It's not my job to, to give the news or speculate. So, I don't have to do that. I think it's just Generous Stray here. I actually don't like Glowspore Shaman that much. Force Pitch Force, what did you say? Oh, Snap, what up? Thanks again for the critique. I'm posting my dragon so I can listen to the modern thread in Discord. Oh, nice. I will take a gander. I will take a gander. I hate taking this over an artful takedown, but what are you going to do? And a luminous bonds? Good lord. The good cards are plentiful. <sighs> I 
Another thought erasure, too. What's happening? I'm on Saucer. My sub time and my son's age are still two months apart. Guess I'll sub another two months to see if I can close the gap. That's actually pretty funny. Your son is 16? That's... That's old. He's like a basically... He's going to be a grandpa soon. I'll make my long story short. Took a 17-year-old almost 18 to his house yesterday but had to stop several times because he's very sick had to nearly call the police so because i so because i was so worried about him but i didn't want to ruin his life I, does that ruin his life it's mom called and i got him to her and she was able to why, why would that ruin his life though i feel like you can take people to the hospital i think we're just taking child of night it's a playable card in our deck oh there you go once you see the, the fine brokers getting passed, you're like, all right, we did it. That's okay. We'll get two more of these. We always do. I actually like another severed strands here. Card is just very versatile. And we have multiple strays. I'm sure we'll pick up a, uh, a rat or two. Hired poisoner, huh? So as far as I know, like... I mean, we're going to call the police or we're going to call a hospital. Like, there's a difference in that. You could, like, definitely take the kid to the hospital. And, like, if he did drugs, I don't think he's going to get in any trouble if he's a minor. I think he's just going to get some help, right? Like, I don't think you're... Oh, a Lazav. All right, I'm just taking the Lazav here. I'm not playing the Vigor Spine Order when it never happened. This guy seems fine. Gruesome Menagerie. Is that good in our deck? Right, he, yeah, so I'm saying, like, take him to the hospital. Like, he's not going to get, like, arrested. Actually, Menagerie seems pretty okay here. I'm actually going to... Let's try the Menagerie. Let's see if we can Menagerina. I'm going to take a Lurcher. I like a Lurcher better than... Uh, Lurcher is probably just Siege Worm for significantly less mana. I think we can take Guildgate here. This is a late-ass Watcher. That's a late-ass Watcher. Not to be confused with the late ass watcher which is significantly less appropriate don't be that guy found out that guy was being a troll in chat a few days ago it was a local guy a real asshole sorry i guess he made a post in a group about losing after you ghost and everyone <laughs> that's weird i actually reported his account uh there's a thing that twitch is extremely against called uh ban evasion which is where if you get banned from a channel and you make another account to go into that channel and keep harassing people. So, yeah, I just reported his account for ban evasion. Twitch takes that pretty seriously because you're literally circumventing the rules that they have in place. That's always hilarious when, like, people who troll in chat, like, you find out they're actual assholes in real life. Which is funny, because I literally made a comment about how that dude probably has, like, who wants to hang out with you? Who wants to be your friend when all you do is produce negativity? And, uh, well, sure enough. You were as miserable in real life. Eh, this guy's fine. I don't think we're gonna play Wall of Mist. I don't think we're I don't think we're in a position where we have to switch to uh to Demir. Like these are both very good. This is a this is a very very good rare. Like I think our signals are fine here. Well, I don't think you can, they can get you arrested because I don't think it's a crime. Like it's not a crime to like take some Xan like for a 17 year old to take Xanax and drink like that's they're not gonna be like you're going to jail buddy like that's just not how that works you know Deadweight Rat and District Guide are all very very good I don't care about either of these because we're not gonna be casting them would Undercity Uprising be considered on the same level as Prey Upon if it was three maybe maybe I think it's. I don't think we need the district guide, whereas I do think we need. I think a, a dead weight is actually very good for us. And we also have a ton of two drops. Like we have six playable two drops here, or three drops rather. Where we have like no one. Oh wow! 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 
That's amazing. Wow. I hope the fine broker comes back, but I'm going to take the Midnight Reaper. Okay, well, like, like I said, like you do, sometimes you get multiple Golgari Fine, fine Brokers in your deck because no one likes Demir, or Golgari, even though. You like how I, I said it, I called it a Golgari Fine Broker, which is what it is, and then I then I switched it to Demir, even though the name was right in the title. That's nice. What in the shit? Come on, guys. Third pick Light of the Legion? Come on, just stop it. I can't take that, or I can't take the Conclave Cavalier. I think it's just Swarm Guild, Swarm, Swarm Guild Mage number two. This card's great. Probably taking Bats out. Like I think even if you get two guys back, if you get a two drop and a three drop with this, if the if it's like Burglar Rat Generous Story, it's still like a four for one. Yeah, I'm just gonna take the Swarm Guild Mage. It's just better than like Shield Mate or Child of Night. I'm always surprised that this is uncommon. I always expect it to be common. Welcome to Fine Burger, home of the Fine Burger. What can I? How? What? Uh, what does he say? What can I get for you? I'm just trying to see if Experimental Frenzy is worth anything. Yeah, it's a dollar. Like I don't think we're playing the. Wait, well, we'd probably play Second Lurcher. We'd probably find room for it. Oh, can I take your order? That's what it is. Welcome to Fine Burger, home of the Fine Burger. Can I take your order? That sounds about right. I also see a Tan and Grace lurking in the chat. It's the Tan and Grace. Uh, I actually like. I think I like Iron Shell Beetle more than most because it's it does multiple things in the Golgari decks. Uh, it's a it's a permanent to get back with Fine Broker. It's a permanent to sacrifice with Severed Strands or you know any kind of sacrifice outlet. It draws you a card with Midnight Reaper if it dies, and it also uh, fulfills your Undergrowth. And um, I think those are all very, very relevant. I'm going to take it. <sighs> this guy's just better than this guy, but I don't think we're going to play it. <sighs> Another stray. Eh, I'm probably just going to take stray number three. I don't care about the other cards. And uh, Oh, mission briefing. I'll just take the mission briefing. This is another late Watcher in the Mist. Like, this is the second Watcher in the Mist that is, like, tabled. I will definitely take a third Severed Strands. Uh, Child of Night's fine. Child of Night's nice against the... Oh, there's a Lurcher. All right. Now I wish it took the Frenzy. Unbelievable. Um, Child of Night's nice against the aggro decks. That's true. Vigor Spine Worm is 7 unblockable power if you have Swarm Mage out. It's not super easy to set up, but, I mean, on turn 7, like, it's an unblockable dude. It's a lot of damage. Alright, so what are we cutting here? I like these guys. We have 21 creatures. That's a lot. Probably cut Shield Mate. Don't really I think you're probably the weaker of the two drops. Oh, wow. The Necrotic Wound came back? Holy Jesus. I might cut the Whisper Agent. Double black is not super easy. And I think it's probably one of the weaker three drops we have. Like, I like Centipede. It's it's almost the same as Whisper Agent. The counter's relevant. They're both 3 twos, easier to cast. It doesn't surveil, whatever. Strays I like better. Gorgons just kill anything. I hate when my Necrotic Wounds come back. Yeah, you and me both, man. You and me both. Wound, wound is probably fine here, for sure. But I just don't know what we'd cut for it. Uh, I don't think Third Stray is necessarily better. Um, I, I think Third Stray is good, but I like having creatures with some power. Maybe it's maybe it's better? I don't know. Like Getting a 3-2 at, at certain points. like having a, playing, playing multiple 3-mana creatures that can't block opponents' 2-2s is pretty rough. 
Like, I don't want to play against the Boros deck that has 2-2, two, 2-2, two, 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 three, 2 and then we just can't kill it because we have multiple strays. So I'd much rather just have a Centipede that can actually block profitably. Here's the thing. If we play Whisper Rage and we can technically call this Sultite, that's a good point. I wonder if the second Devcaran Dissident is better than the Child of Night. I don't know. Thank you. 48 months in a row, Walladale, buddy. That's four years. Happy four-year anniversary, buddy. I hope you got me something nice. I did. I got you this subscription. That's all I could ever ask for. That's all I've ever wanted. Dissident has been un unimpressive. Dissident is probably one of my favorite two drops. That's crazy. This card's a 4-4 in the late game. That's all I've ever wanted. It's all I ever wanted. That's a little. Is that Backstreet Boys or is that? Uh, sorry for spamming your chat. I disconnected for a bit, but I posted that list. Okay, I got you. I got you. Why do Josh? Why do we have to fight like this? I hate when we fight. Is it in sync? I don't know. I always get in sync and Backstreet Boys confused, or I just decide to say that. Um, to throw you off my undying love for both of those those musical outfits I wish I could pay like 20 bucks on MTG and have all the rare land why 20 though that's so random also if you've ever watched a deck with good lands versus a deck with bad lands not the red black land but like bad land like, like subpar lands um, uh, it becomes quite apparent how relevant lands are when it, when it comes to deck building and being that there's such a high deck building consideration um i i don't think they should be free like you should have to choose like it should be it should be definitely a cost like you should have to choose either i i you know i produce this this good card that's gonna help me win the game or this land that's gonna help me cast the cards that are in my deck and like you know it's It's definitely a, uh, a toss-up there. Because I think it's a, definitely a real decision when it comes to deck building. Um, so Grusham, 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 Grusham Menagerie is going to get us two guys most of the time, I would imagine. Yeah, this is fine. Let's try it like this. I like I like Vish, I like Necrotic Wound a lot. What do we have? Two Severed Strands. Two Gorgons, kind of like removal. That's pretty much it. Yeah, maybe I want the Wound in here. Oh, we have Deadweight and Hired Poison. I just totally forgot the one drops, I guess. Yeah, it's very noticeable when you spend your... Yeah, because, like, you'll see people playing Guild Gates, and I'm just like, oh, that's interesting. But, I mean... You know. That's, a, that's what's a cost you gotta pay, my friend. Maybe it is just Dowser here. Dowser's a great, a great big guy. But I feel like these guys are all doing similar things. Crawl Swarm is okay. I don't love Crawl Swarm, but it is a, a, an invasive flyer, and we don't have many of those, so. Oh, let's do it. This looks like a decent Golgari deck, I would say. I will play first. Oh, this is a good one. Nailed it. Gonna ship it. Oh, this is a good one. This guy didn't even move, if you noticed. Yeah, this one's better. We're playing against Lucky Lucky Czar 87. I imagine that means they're 87 years old. I will keep... Nope, you're leaving. I don't need two of you. <laughs> oh, big fan. Oh, no. It starts. Oh, no. See, look, I almost skipped through my main phase.
I went to the SCG Open, my first big event, traded for my second and third dual lands, and picked up a Misty, Rector, Replenish, and Opalescence to finish. That's awesome. Those are very, very good. I am a fan of all of those cards. Not so much Opalescence. Replenish, Rector, and all the duels, I'm good. Not that I don't like Opalescence, but it's never been on my, my high list. All right. Good, I need these two packs to keep it rolling. <laughs> Oh man, good times. We're having a good, we're having a good, good. Oh, do I trade here? Oh, that feels bad. Considering how eager they are to make that trade, I'm gonna have to decline. Okay, we did it. We're very good at this game, you can tell. Because we do that third land into also if we just let this guy die we uh we increase our gruesome menagerie yeah this guy is definitely gonna get it and by get it i mean get poisoned on All right, we're really hoping for a forest here. Uh, catching some Frank live. Lucky, 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 lucky. That was so loud. Didn't think they'd attack here. The problem is if they have any room for this guy, they get in for four, which is probably makes this a bad attack. I don't know. But life's hard, man. Sometimes you're not playing... Uh, Do you know or like the Budos Band? I don't think I've heard of the Budos Band. Maybe I have. I would I would know them if I heard... It was one of those... I'd know them if I heard them situations. Don't direct current this guy. And we are good to go. Oh, all right. I like it. Is this a sure strike situation? Feels sure strikey. Oh, that's sad. I had a bad... I had a bad time. I'm almost tempted. Do we shepherd, shepherd strands this guy? I guess we should have just kept this back because it's got death touch, right? I don't know what I'm doing right now. I need to get my head in this game. Authentic David, thanks so much for the resub, buddy. Welcome back. Thanks for the great content, and thanks for posting everything on YouTube, too. YouTube, tube. This is actually fine. I don't love it, but it is what it is. Oh, my God. Greenland. I need a Greenland. Can I get a Greenland? I don't like this because they can actually do a thing onto this. I'm really I'm playing, playing very poorly right now. Let's be clear. All right, let's figure out what we're doing right now. Right now. I almost feel like we want to get rid of the Legionnaire because we have plenty of ways to block the Challenger with double fine brokers. Yeah, I feel like this is actually fine. All right, we did it. We got rid of everything. And now Golgari Feinberger puts us in a really good position if we can hit a second forest. But... All right. Well. Yeah, I feel like we're at the mercy of our, of our lands here, unfortunately.
Yikes. Okay. Still, still good. Still good. Forest off the tippity top. Oh god, we're good at this game. One, two, three, four. Now we're gonna get a dead weight back, and we're gonna hope for a swamp because I assume they're gonna kill this guy. This is how we. Uh, this is how we do it, ladies and gentlemen. They have two cards in hand. We have two cards in hand. We're at nine. They're at seventeen. What? Oh, fascinating. I will block this guy. If we block here, they can actually shoot us with the uh, the goblin. The first strike will kill us off. Sure strike? Sure. Strike. Don't play another creature. Land? Swamp? Generous stray? Biscuits. One more time. This is the loop that I always hope for in the Golgari decks. I just want to keep on looping. Tribunal number two. Uh, I will, good lord. <sighs> nope, you can draw your cards. I'm not gonna go to three here. That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. All right, they didn't do anything. That's nice. Get this dude. Get him. Oh, that's not what we wanted to do. Cancel. Kitty cat time. Yeah, it was like we're about due for a land here. Oh, uh, not gonna attack here because it seems pretty greedy. You can claim victor after demonstrating a loop can Yeah, I could be like, hey buddy, listen. You know I can just keep looping these Golgari fine brokers, right? What do you do about that? Uh the answer is get wrecked. Oh, look at old Unicron from the Transformers. I don't hate that. That's actually not terrible, huh? Hey, that's not terrible, huh? Get two Death Touchers back. Seems all right. I wonder if it's going to bring him back automatically if I don't have options. Like the only three and the only... Yep, I guess not. One drop, a three drop. I mean, that was a decent two cards to hit. I'm okay with it. It's for five mana. You put a 2-2 two, two, and a 1-1 one, one Death Toucher. I'd play that card. It's basically having a 3-3 three, three with Death Touch for five mana, except it's across two bodies, which I think is totally reasonable. Totes reasonable, as the kids say. No, you can have three more cards. You go up to six. I'll uh, I'll deal with it. So they actually threw away a mountain and the risk risk factor itself. So they only really drew four cards, which is still great. It's gonna be a land. Yep, we knew. Oh, 
Oh man, if this is a one, two for two that drew you a card. Oof. That's the world I want to live in. I don't see a reason to play Fine Broker here. I think it's much stronger when we can get this one back. They have five cards in hand. We have one. I don't want to play Fine Broker, get back Dead Wheat, and kill the Inspiring Unicorn just because it leaves us with nothing left. See, I totally PM'd my address, buddy. It is... I totally... Did I not? Oh my god. Oh, I totally didn't. I... Dang it. Uh-oh. Oh boy. That's a thing, isn't it? So I want to speculate on the four mana cards for the next set, like Fine Broker. Huh? <sighs> Jeez. Yeah, that's bad. We should have probably now. Now I see. Now I'm definitely regretting not playing Fine Broker. We just got a one here. Oh God. I have to assume with three cards in hand, one of them has to be a trick, right? No. Direct current our face. No direct current our face. Yeah, last turn went completely differently if they didn't have this guy in play. Crater America can't deal damage to players. That would be insane. White, normal, or dark chocolate? Preferably dark chocolate. I used to be a normal chocolate guy. Can you imagine if Crater American could deal damage to players? That would be pretty ridiculous. Yeah, I think as I've gotten older, I've appreciated dark chocolate more than milk chocolate. Alright, this is fine. This is not a threat. They have two cards. We're at one. One is not dead. Uh, I have no idea what, what Mike likes. Mike likes food. So as long as you put some food in there, you're good to go. He likes banana flavored things. Which is really weird. And no one's okay with that. Is there any, like, they're going to kill this guy, right? With their creator maker? Yeah, that's fine. I'm just going to block here, I think. Now I'm regretting not having the other one. But I wouldn't be able to block if I had the other one, so it doesn't make sense. So, f f this is almost lethal, actually, which is kind of funny. Banana is... I think bananas are good. I don't know if banana-flavored stuff is as good as bananas themselves. All right, man. Well, they also have to have another pack beast they could draw to. Yeah, there's tons of things they could hit here. I 
I think the Orzhov one sounds too much like the Golgari one. Like you're, yeah, I don't think you want two creatures in the same cycle to return something to play or re, you know return something from the graveyard. Oh, here we go. That's actually fine. It's obnoxious, but fine ultimately. If you're feeling small, not a, not a land. Yes. See, now we're getting close to the uh, the the equal threshold for lands to creatures. I also hope we're winning. I feel like I always hope we're winning. All right, now I feel like we're. This is actually a great draw for us because now we can either gain two, or start start swarming. The fact that they keep playing lands makes me think they just have lands in hand, which is pretty good for us. Nerd bait? Oh my god. I want to attack, but they'll just block, right? So we're just going to hold off. We get one more guy, we can... Yeah, that's not great for us. No land. Ooh, butter my biscuits. One, two, five. Crawl swarm. I'm also gonna play the land if we want to like block and pump just to make a just to make a point. We can do that. But otherwise, we should be able to win next turn. We can go up to five. It's true. I do attract all the nerds. That is a fair point. I don't. I mean, I don't want to brag. <laughs> no, I do. Oh, this is interesting. I don't want to block here because this makes this lethal, and I think in the long game, this is much stronger. I am a little worried about this situation. So let's go one, two. All right. That seems good. We can always get Crawl Swarm back. The reason banana flavored stuff seems off is the flavorings made uses nowadays. Profile on banana is not ex existent because they are a monocle. Well, that's interesting. Old ass bananas. Yeah, that guy's fine. We also have eight mana, so we can discard any subpar creature to. Uh... We could have blocked with with this creature instead, in order to um, keep up crawl swarm and attack, but like we'd be dead because we we'd have to block with crawl swarm anyway, and. Um... Crossbone would not be lethal because we wouldn't have the pump from this guy, so. Sammy, what's going on, buddy? We could have went to five and taken four from this guy and went back to one if we were risky. But I don't know if that's particularly safe when they have three cards in hand. Now they have one card in hand. I don't think we're going to go to two here. That doesn't seem great for us. All right, here we go. That 
that's fine. Just don't have uh, Righteous Blow as your last... If you had Righteous Blow as your last card, you would have actually killed the Golgari Swarm. Also going to play all the lands we get. I don't know why. I'm not sure if we need it, but... Uh, yep, we have drawn 12 out of 17 lands. That seems like a lot. But if you're feeling small... Oh, interesting. I'm going to let this guy die if they want to kill this because Hatchery Spider is just infinitely stronger. And if we... Oh my god, I can't believe we won this game. That is insane. Yeah, they're six cards deeper based on two, exactly two risk factors. Whew. What a time to be alive. Ugh. Yeah, this is a situation where I kind of like Child of Night. The life gain is pretty relevant. We can get rid of Iron Shell Beetle. Yeah, this is a situation where, like, I would 100% rather have a Spinal Centipede than a Generous Stray because it just blocks their 2-3s and their 2-2s. Two like, if they have Crater Maker or Boros Mentor or Boros whatever that dude is. 4-5 is good. I just don't think we need it. We have a bunch of 3-4s and 2 Rhizome Lurchers, which are probably going to be 5-5s, five ideally. I also don't know what we'd take out for it. Swarm Guild Mage was also MVP there, gaining, like, Six, six, eight life. I left my phone at home and now feel naked. Yeah, that's really, it's a weird, that's a weird thing. Like where uh, you leave your phone somewhere and you're like, wow, I feel really weird right now. cut the land that's a good idea i like it so we can probably cut all 17 of these bad boys and add this guy this guy this guy this guy bats probably probably bring the other three drops in because they're cheap have a wall in the block and we can just play the rest of our cards yeah i think this is better can you imagine if i accidentally submitted like this They didn't really have many X ones though. Did I didn't? I don't remember. I think we have more X ones than they do. I will definitely keep this hand. If both of these die, we get a four four here, which is pretty nice. I left my clothes and also feel naked, although I'm at home. So where did you leave your clothes then if you're at home? That doesn't even make any sense. Also, we have perfect double-double. The old two swamp, two forest. Yeah, if they make a 4-4 four, for four, four with uh, Hexproof and Trample, you're going to find a lot of unhappy Magic players. That is very bad. Please do not make that. What do you think about this guy getting burned in the face don't blow me bro unbelievable we're not gonna be able to block here so I might as well just dig a little deeper see if we have a better option for turn 4 than a rhizome lurcher I guess we could block make a 4-4 out of the lurcher yep that is a good one I'm actually all for blocking here, actually. Because we have a bunch of fodder in the hand, and I'd rather just make a big lurcher here. Ooh, that's fascinating. I 
Interesting. All right. Well, you know what? I'm going to make you have it. Ah, uh, you will, I'm sure. Sure strike. Always, always, always having it. That's a good draw because now we can play two things. I want to get the Reaper down as quick as possible because that's just good stuff. Yeah, like if you, yeah, don't add Don't Blow Me Bro because then like when people see those quotes out of context, it seems like I run like a pretty lewd stream and that's really not my, that's not my goal here. I think this is a fine trade. I think trading Unicorn for a Midnight Reaper and a card is just fine. Especially when this can be one of our three for a Gruesome Menagerie. I want to, I want to keep hitting lands. We did. I'm not going to block this guy. I'll take it. Oh, they had nothing. This is looking this is looking up for us. I don't think they have any flash guys, so we're going to actually attack with this dude. And play this guy. So now we have Hatchery Spider next turn with one, two, three, four, five creatures. That's great. Our odds of hitting something with five or six is pretty good, and we just win the game. Oh, four lands in hand. We would have hit a land. And we would have played Spider. Which would have been for five. One, two, three, four, five. Play to, play to, yeah, this game would have been insane. Our deck is good. So you don't want your stream to be like the guys I was watching earlier that had a bunch of commands that would get me muted here? You're no fun. How dare you think of the children? <clears throat> I wouldn't say it's also just the children. I think it's also a matter of, um, you know, future job prospects, right? Like if, uh, if, one, if like a future employer was like checking out my stream and being like, Oh, this dude has a bunch of a bunch of quotes about murder and sexual innuendo. It's just it doesn't translate well. In the game it's funny because you know exactly the context, but without the context, it's just bad. I agree. It is actually unpleasant to be in a chat. For I'll sign your butt. Did I? <laughs> that's that feels like something I did say. But I mean, that's also just a good deal. Thank you, Magic Avocado. Thank you, about well, Thank you so much, Reese. Oh, well, I hope you're having a beautiful. Day. I hope you're having a beautiful day. You beautiful avocado. Context is definitely king. As uh, I can tell you that for sure. That's just a good deal. The don't blow me, bro guy. That's, I, you know, I'm not sure if that's really. I think that might be another situation where we want some context. I'm probably just going to dead weight this thing because once it gets out of hand. Ain't nobody got time for that. This guy's pretty big. If they want to kill it and we not not let's get the counter, that's fine. If they but next time we can play this guy and I'm okay with that. Oh boy. Fine broker. Rhizome lurcher. I'm gonna attack here. I don't think they're gonna block. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. <laughs> Actually, we should have played it with the... We should have left the black up because we do have Hired Poisoner in the deck and we don't have anything for one green. I'm 
I'm not going to block here. I don't think you have a... If you want to trade a random card here... Yeah, that's actually very good. All right. Where is nature's little treasure? That's a good question. chiposhi has been around every so often. I don't know. I think he's. I think he's just busy. He's got. Oh, he's got things to do. Somebody's all big, big time. So we actually want to make some profitable blocks here because we have menagerie now. So if we can just get any two of these in the graveyard. Preferably a two drop and a three drop. I think we're going to be all right. That's a big boy. Yeah, being nature's treasure is a is a tough job. This is a good attack for us. Oh man, I like all these things. This is great. Bro, I got a menagerie right here with your name on it, my friend. Probably just playing Swarm here. Uh, yeah, Yoakum just doesn't actually play that much magic anymore, that's why. Which is funny, because he's still one of my biggest biggest subscribers. He supports me like crazy, even though he doesn't even play magic. It's He's a great dude. They didn't want to attack us. They didn't want to come at us, bro. Hmm. Isn't that something? Isn't that something? I guess we'll attack here. See if they want to block. If they do block, we'll probably play Lurcher. If they don't, we'll play Menagerie, I think. Oh, they do want to block. I guess I hope you don't have Sinister Sabotage in it. Oh. Well, I guess that's a thing, isn't it? Isn't that special? I got a big guy. I've got to say, I often watch the stream in the living room while my toddler plays, and I appreciate how clean it is. That's actually that is one of my goals. Um, to be to be on. <laughs> oh, that's just great. To be honest, one of the main reasons I wanted to have a cleaner stream was because, uh, speaking of which, Yokum, Yokum's daughter Mia was a huge fan of mine, and I didn't like the idea. She was like seven at the time. I didn't like the idea of a seven-year-old being a fan of mine and having a not super clean stream. It just didn't feel good. So, this is totally fine. I feel like they're ahead, especially with a quasi-duplicate in their graveyard and Nightfell Predator, but... Does your cat prefer meat or fish? I have, I just get it. I, it. My cat eats whatever's in the can. He's not super picky. I do get him nicer food, though. I do spend a little bit more on the premium food because I like, I like feeding my pets good stuff. I take care of my animals because that's my, that's my job. But, Gildy, Spinal Centipede is nice because it blocks here and it also makes... A bigger guild mage if they want that. They do have quasi quasi duplicate in the graveyard is. Uh the cat's name is Issy. Uh it was a reference to a previous cat. But I just call him Little Man. <laughs> Shh. 
she probably including funny like the Brian Reagan of Reagan of Magic Streaming. That's actually pretty hilarious. I accept that. I mean, whatever your last card is, it cannot be better than a second Night Vale Predator, right? And I don't think we're gonna figure that out right now. Yeah. Yep, this is a fun and balanced magic card. Let's have more of this. I think we should have attacked first. Actually, we can gain two life here. Just play something a big like a big big lurcher next turn. Two life is relevant here because it keeps us off of a six turn clock. Four four that deals four damage to a creature. Oh my god, Matthew Ori, dude. These are broken cards that you're making. Flame Tongue Kava was a staple. And it only it was a 4 2. They have one card in hand? Alright, I feel okay about that. Oh, Necrotic Wound. One, two, three, four. I guess I hope your card's nothing. And of course, it's never nothing. Whisper Agent off the top. Fantastic. And they kept it on top. Fantastic. I guess it's really hard to beat four Night Vale Predators. Even if we play this guy, we're still dead. So I guess we just have to play like 8-8 eight, eight here. Deal them 10. That's not going to do it. Yeah, fight would actually be significantly more balanced. Yeah, sure. Cool deck. Don't exaggerate. It was only three Night Vale Predators. That's fair. Uh, that's true. I did I did exaggerate that. That's the only card that gave us problems, actually, because I would bring in Severed Strands or, you know, some other way to beat it, but unfortunately. Again, definitely a place where Spinal Centipede shines over Generous Strays, where you want the... Bring in Dissident. It blocks 1-4s and Nightfell Predators. And by block, I mean it like trades. I will play first. Uh, yeah, we'll keep this hand. This is a hand where it's like once you get to 4 mana, you're like, you're on easy street. Three Assassin's Trophies. That seems unreasonable. Is this an online draft? Because that doesn't even seem realistic. Oh, he had two copies, but he shuffled them in. Do I just kill this guy immediately? Probably not. Especially because we want to hit a land here. And we did. Could have also played Beetle Deadweight, but I mean, this guy just doesn't do anything on turn two of them, or turn three that I'm super concerned with. No blocks. Well, this Lurcher is not the best. I guess we'll just play a beetle. Could have stuck it on here, and then if we attack into their 
Uh, they don't have any good blocks. We have a 2-2 two, two, and a 1-2, so they always take one. But I'd rather just have a 2-3 on the board. Yeah. Never fails. But, again, this guy is able to deal with a Nightfell Predator. If they played Quasi Duplicate, I'm just going to probably scoop. I don't really see the point of <sighs> dealing with three Nightfell Predators. So... Okay, just a 3-4 flyer. Seems good. That's where they block with the 1-4 and they're like, waste your turn, I don't care. I'll be like, that's uh, fair. Oh, no, 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 they don't even make me do that. I would have 100% blocked the 1 4. It's just not relevant. 4 4 fights, creature, poker, sugar, plus one, current, free, Okay, the plus one, it's just, it's just not needed. Like a 4 4 that comes into play and fights a creature is really strong. You're literally, like, that's literally an un uh, one of the strongest uncommons in Guilds of Ravnica. A 4 4 that fights a creature and it costs two more mana. There's no reason to attack another ability onto that thing. Price of fame. Artful takedown. Yeah, we just can't win here. Like the, this is like the most pressure ever from a from a blue black deck, unfortunately. No blocks. A gruel and unusual punishment. I'm so proud of you. Don't know how we deal with this. We have actually no way to deal with this. So, like, it's two turns. We're dead. Third 18. Yep. Doesn't really do anything. Something else. Hmm. 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 But if you're feeling small, do, 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 do. all right, four, four, five, five. Seems good. Yep. Three, four, we're not dead. <laughs> God, they never run out of things. It's really impressive. I just don't know what we can draw to deal with both of these. Like, even if we deal with this somehow. Like, they're going to put us to, to one. So even if we draw, like, Crawl, scooby doo it's real hard to come back from that. Did they put a card on top? Oh, wow, they did, and they have Sinister Sabotage. That's actually unbelievable. All right, well... And I just left. Yep, <sighs> seems good.
All right, so our opponent is 0-0. Zero, zero. We are 1-1. One, one. So that's good. That's a good start. Thank you. Eric, thank you so much for this resub. Welcome back, buddy. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate the support. If y'all feeling small. My nose is itchy. Oh, wow. Instant activation. That's aggressive. Oh, they took our gruesome menagerie. That's pretty funny. This is a card I wasn't even 100% about playing, and uh, they're like, no, that's strong enough that I'm not going to let you have that. We do have a 2 and a 3 drop in our hand, so the odds of us being able to get some value out of it is pretty high. This guy. Uh, it's easy flyer with enter the battlefield, exile a creature, opponent controls until he leaves the battlefield. It can probably be like a 3 2 or a 2 3. Because Banisher Priest, things like Banisher Priest are already 2 2s for 3. And so, like, it's not it's not worth that re restricting the mana cost so heavily just to make it a flyer. But I think that's, I think that's actually, that's a pretty on. So, here's the other thing. The other thing is that, like, you want the abilities to feel like they're guilds, right? Like, that feels like a white card. That, that's 100% a white card. But I don't know if it's an Azorius card. You know what I mean? Man, Gruesome and Azure would have been great here because we have a 3-drop, a 1-drop, and a 2-drop. So I'm feeling pretty bad about them pitching our Menagerie. I guess it's a one for one though. I also feel like if they can't deal with this Midnight Reaper, we're just gonna go to, we're gonna go to town. And even if they can, we have a fine broker. So, um, I'll get rid of a Guild Mage. I think Strands is better, and so is Fine Broker. If you want to come at me and pitch a card, and let me get a counter and draw another card, I would be more than okay with that. Which is a hundred percent why I'm coming at you right now. I'm actually going to keep this other swamp in hand in case they have another rat. Yep, that's why we did that. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, so 1-1 one, one right now. If three cards in hand, I'm okay with any of these trades. Not this one. I don't want to trade with a rat here. I'm not, I'm not huge on a 3-3 Lurcher here. If they put another dude in their graveyard, I will be okay with a 4-4 Lurcher. Oh. I'm going to put... So here's the thing. If we put this in the front and they have a creature to discard, we kill nothing. If we put a rat in front and they have a creature to discard, we still kill a rat. And if they have no creature to discard, we still kill both of them. So you definitely want a rat in the front. Yeah, so now we're trading Swarm Guild Mage and a Burglar Rat. Yep, that is the correct block. And if we put the other rat in the front as well, then we're never killing this guy either way. And that's really what we want to do, so...
Meanwhile, this guy's a 4 4 now, so. I would play another land just to get a land out there, but I don't think we need it just yet. We only have uh, one land in hand, which means we're not like backed up on lands. And I do like keeping one in hand for future burglar rats. I feel like this person picked up as many burglar rats as they could. And now Lurcher's just a two for one whenever it connects. My nose is itching. I always feel weird about that because I'm like, oh god, they're going to think like I'm a drug user or something, but it's on the outside. It's just the outside that's itching and I don't actually understand why. And then we're going to have a doctor in the audience be like, oh, actually that's a symptom of uh, this. I think it's actually just dry skin, but that's weird. Maybe that's weird. I don't know. I don't know how noses work, guys. I'm not a nose expert, okay? Do you have two creatures in hand and you're just going to discard both? Or are you just going to trade? Two for one? Well, this card's not great to begin with. So the fact that you're two for one-ing yourself... Actually, three for one-ing because we're drawing off this guy. Yikes. Yeah, now we're in pretty good shape. Did the stream die? Because... I don't think anyone has said anything for about four minutes, and that seems weird. Oh, double Swarm Guild Mage. You and me both, buddy. You and me both. Oh, double Pilfering Imp. No, sir. You were alone there. All right, all right. So again, we got good attacks with this guy. Yeah, this is fine. I really don't want them to take our hatchery spider, but that's life. I might also just severed strands to pilfering him because they have nothing to do with it, and I'd rather just keep the spider here. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> So we have one, two, three, we have four creatures. Yeah, neg four, neg four is pretty good. Also, being able to look four deep, maybe five deep if a guy dies this turn is pretty epic. I'm actually going to kill this guy. I think this guy is way better. If they're both 2-2s. Two so 1-2. Two, did we actually have... We had mana to gain 2 life. I think we just chose not to. That's that's pretty sad. Actually, let's attack with Hired Poisoner. If they want to block, that's fine. Actually, we're going to attack with both. I'm pretty sure if they choose to block and discard they're gonna have no cards in hand and that's just puts us way way ahead if they do block they go to th yeah going to four here is great and we also get another trigger two triggers and we go one deeper with this guy so twitch might have died for a second yep this is always we four four swamps and a golgari fine broker that's pretty good i'll get back the other fine broker and i feel like this game may have uh, well, no one changed it to sub-only mode. Also, most of the people chatting are subs, so. All right. Well, then. I think we're actually fine against this matchup. This hand seems good. I mean, Midnight Reaper did a lot of work last game, so. I will keep this hand. Yeah, Twitch, I broke Twitch because of my on-point hair and beard. However, my content was not up to par with Twitch standards. So. It's gotta suck when you troll someone. When you try to troll someone, you try to be negative and you try to just bring them down and insult people. And uh, the only thing that ends up happening is you, you yourself become a meme about it. Like, that's got to be pretty sad, right? Like, as a troll, that's got to be your least favorite end result, right? 
dang, I tried to make fun of this guy and make him feel bad, but instead I just became a meme. I mean, sorry. You just become a meme and people in, in chat uh, tell you that in real life this guy is kind of an asshole. <laughs> so it's like, eh, okay. Seems like a positive result. I'm okay with it. How do you feel about black, black, red, red, 3-2 haste and his battlefield opponent sacks a dude? That seems really strong as well. That seems, no, that's way too good. You guys are, you guys, these, these cards you guys are designing are pretty insane. Like 3-2 haste enters the battlefield, they sack a dude is almost better than Bloodbraid Elf. Like, that is so much pressure that it's actually an unbelievable amount of pressure. Like, that's constructed playable, I think. And that's and that's fine to be constructed playable, but... Um, like, it's, it's constructed playable in the bad way. If that makes sense. I don't want a 3-3 Lurcher. I think we're just going to block the Trooper. Actually, that doesn't make any sense, right? Like... Two two, yeah. See, here's the thing. Magic magic design is super weird. Like a three two with haste that makes them sack a dude seems too good. A two two doesn't seem good enough. So it's really, you're it's 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 a weird line. I'm gonna make this a three three because if we block with this guy and it dies, it's just a four four anyway. So plus, I really don't want to be start blocking and not have guys to. Plus, the guys in the graveyard, we got a spider in hand. If you block the trooper to run you through, yeah, that's true. If we double block, they have to don't do eh, to do anything, I guess. Yeah, this is fine. Sure, figure spine worm. You got it. Give me like a eh, crawl swarm is actually just fine. I think our board is pretty good here. It looks like they're also missing land drops. I can tell because they didn't hit all their land drops. Well some dead. Don't face no mana hold you. Three one actually does fit better. I agree. Menace, huh? Menacio. So what I do? They they trade here. Eh, I think this is actually fine. They're getting to a point where having Menace for their Swarm their swarm Guild Mage is actually very, very strong. I would have probably given Menace to this so that it's a 4-4 instead of a 4-2. And you can also discard a card to kill both of my guys. But, you know, what are you going to do? I feel like we, we're in a good place to just uh, sit back and wait for this Hatchery Spider to come down. Yeah, Black Black Red Red 3-1 enters Battlefield Opponent Saxon Dude seems way more balanced and also feels very Rakdos. Severed strands, two for one to kill that thing, huh? This is all very interesting. And I'll block here. So we're one card away. We have five creatures in the graveyard, which is great because it lets us uh it helps us hit Golgari Feinbroker if it's in the top five and we have two of them, so the odds are uh out of twenty five cards it would be one in well, that's not ideal. Do I want to discard this? Probably not. We're probably just going to play it. Put a counter on it. And we're probably actually going to Severed Strands this guy. So now we have six creatures in the graveyard. And out of 24, now we have a 25% chance. Instead of... Oh god, that guy's humongous. We have another Severed Strands, though. land okay actually this is great <laughs> this is just fantastic that worked out very very well and now we're going to collect close to 21 and 7 creatures <laughs> so now it looks like 33% chance of hitting one fine broker let alone two Billy what's going on buddy
Yep. Erstwhile Trooper. You are the top deck champ both games now. I guess. You're playing triple Erstwhile. You're playing three Erstwhile Troopers and you're complaining about my my top deckedness. Give me another fine broker. Wow, one hit. Woof. It's still pretty good. And all those cards go to the bottom, right? Yeah, that's pretty sweet. So now our odds of hitting the other fine broker are significantly higher. Did you know you're the top deck champ? The champ. I guess so. I mean, like, you're playing Moodmark Painter and three erstwhile troopers. It's not really... One, two, three. They can actually discard a guy and double block, or they can actually just block with this guy, I guess. I'm actually probably just going to get Generous Stray back here. Actually, Lurcher is probably better, right? Yeah, Lurcher is pretty huge here. Yeah, Erstwhile Trooper is not great, which is why I'm making the, the point that like having three of them in your deck is not putting you in a great position. Not sure if you notice. All cards actually come from the top of the deck. That's where they exist. <clears throat> Some show tell you the underground count. No, they don't actually, which is kind of frustrating. The undergrowth count? No, you actually have to count yourself. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, six. It would be nice if they did. One, two, three. Yeah, like, see, the thing is, if you put cards like Generous Stray in your deck and Swarm Guild Mage and Hatchery Spider instead of Earthwall Trooper, you're more likely to draw those cards. He's gonna. I, I would play this, but he'd be real mad at me having another 8-8, eight, eight, so... You got it. So next turn, if we hit a land, we can play Lurcher and activate this, which is really what I want to do. Four erstwhile troopers in your deck and you're complaining. That's amazing to me. Wow. <laughs> That's something right there, man. Holy smokes. Oh, we can also find Broker the Hatchery Spider now, which is pretty strong, I think. Yeah, we're just going to go find Broker into Hatchery Spider. I have no idea what's going on here. Like, my card quality is just better. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, not trying to nag you, but... If you're going to sit there and complain about luck, top deck luck, like, if I put better cards in my deck, I'm going to hit better cards. Yeah, that guy's great. 
So you did good. Right off the top. God, so lucky. Anyway. Yep, and that's the end. All right. Well, see you later. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch and Patreon. And uh, meundies.com slash Frank Lepore. You can check that out. 15% off your first order. Free shipping, free returns. And they have some sweet Star Wars and Halloween themed unders right now. Along with uh, lounge pants, sh shirts, and uh, socks. So check that out. If you're looking for a wardrobe upgrade, you can get a discount. I get a kickback from the affiliate link. And everybody wins. It's a great way to support the stream. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you next time. I think that's all I got.